so this is Merl. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. Pity a brother I see our goal has changed. I would not presume to direct our course, but do let me know if you require a guide. I'm sure there's a very good reason for this detour. We must respect our mu- Hast thou forgotten thy destiny, thy charge? That is most unfortunate. But it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me.
Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this. Isn't it? You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. I had thought your life forfeit. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on and by some miracle arisen. I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I fear you. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. We match my soldier's description. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Some you really ought to return by Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. Very well. There is no wrong choice in any case. It is entirely up to you which... But I shan't take up any more of your time. Pray be well. Here at the inn, we also offer... I get so few customers, you see. That I can manage both roles myself. But enough about me. Did you always a pleasure? Hold here a moment. I shall fit them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. It is uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he- I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I will make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Yet, it is nowhere in sight. Aught may have befallen it. Best we press on. Is 
Everyone all right. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Tis a glad thing we rested when we did. Try not to get hit. Let's do that thing you don't want. All of us have been drenched. I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! It might await us on the road ahead. To the next. <laughs> this we're trapped When better to use this, but in the midst of battle. Seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the ox cart. My word. Never did I dream it would come upon such a rarity. Join us. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. An ox cart ought to make our journey easier. They can be most convenient, though they travel only during the day. Goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again. We drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox. <laughs> <laughs> 